when do I plan on telling Snow about my past and my past in porn? Yeah. It is Shannon Rose and in today's video I am going to be doing a porn Q&A. This video is definitely going to get demonetized but if you want to continue to support this channel you can check out my Patreon. So I asked you guys on Instagram what type of video that you guys would like to see me do next and I got a lot a lot of responses but one of the main ones was a porn Q&A. So here I am we're going to be doing a porn Q&A today. I asked you guys to send me whatever questions you wanted and here were some of them. I also am making this anonymous for obvious reasons um, but this question says how awkward is it having sex in a room full of people and cameras so I think at first it's a little awkward but then after a while you just get used to it it's not that big of a deal so someone says has Travis done gay porn <laughs> not that I know of someone else said is there a weight limit and body code for porn meaning I think like do you need to look a certain way to do porn and the answer to that is absolutely not there is a market for everything not everybody is attracted to like skinny you know pretty girls but some people are into maybe like the girl next door type that's not like when you look at someone you're not like oh my god she's gorgeous but someone you know that like could be your next door neighbor people are really into that and a lot of people love bigger girls and curvy girls so everybody has you know their own idea of what they think is beautiful so if you were to do porn I'm assuming that they would want to shoot everybody so I don't think that there's like a code they want girls with big boobs they want girls with small boobs milf porn literally a category for everything was there anyone that really disgusted you that you had to sleep with um I'm sure that there were some people that I slept with that were probably pretty gross but you know it's part of the job so it happened someone said what would be your advice to someone who is thinking of starting porn my advice to you would be to really consider what it is that you want to spend the rest of your life doing because I'm not saying that you can't do porn and then become a doctor or do porn and become a politician because anything is possible but doing porn is going to make certain aspects of your life a lot more difficult and you're going to be judged and you're going to be looked at differently that's just life but you know if you want to do it because it makes you happy and you're not just doing it to make easy quick money you like you actually enjoy Enjoy it, it's fun for you, and you're okay with people knowing and your whole family finding out that you do porn or you're in the adult entertainment industry, then go for it. You know, I don't ever want to tell people like, I don't think you should do it. I don't know you like that to tell you like, yes or no, you shouldn't, you know? Just know that it's going to change your whole life. You know, there's going to be pros to that, obviously, but there are also cons, just like any job. This job is just public, so everyone is going to eventually find out, most likely. So that's my advice to you. This is a really good question. Who gets paid more in porn men or women so when I was in porn the women got paid more like significantly a lot more I think that the guys were making like five to seven hundred dollars a scene and the girls were making like you know over a thousand dollars a scene but with that being said also if I'm talking funny it's because I have my retainer thing in with that being said guys worked more than girls did so a guy could do like you know maybe two to three scenes a day and a girl would probably only do one scene a day because there were less guys in porn than there were like girls so the guys were Worked more. I hope that that makes sense. I don't know if it's still like that today. Also, I think in gay porn, the guys make more, obviously. Did guy actors from porn ever ask you out? Yes, <laughs> quite a few. I'm trying to think of which ones they were. I know Nick Manning was one of them, and he's like older than me, super nice. He was one. I feel like Bill Bailey was another one, and I can't even remember what he looks like. There were quite a few. I just can't remember their names. I never dated anyone in porn, by the way. Does porn fuck you up mentally? Yes. Totally. I've never really talked bad about the porn industry. Again, there's the pros and the cons, but it has definitely fucked me up in a lot of ways. One of the ways is like, I have like serious social issues now when I go out because I just had issues in the past where like, after I got out of porn, people not like becoming my friends and then finding out that I did porn and then not wanting to be my friend anymore. And then also the whole thing with like Travis's family, you know, not accepting me or wanting me to be around because I did porn. And also I'm just like constantly judged for it even though it was something I did so long ago that I kind of get scared being out publicly and trying to like make friends or talk to people it's not that I'm like bitchy or like don't want to be friends with people it's like I'm trying to guard myself from getting hurt and like that's definitely a porn thing I wasn't really like that too well that's not true I also had shitty situations before I think it's a combination of a lot of things but I definitely think porn plays a huge role in that and a lot of other things too like I'm kind of weird when guys hug me not weird but like I don't know 
know. It's fucked me up basically is what I'm trying to say. It's just hard for me to explain how. What made you decide to do porn and do you regret it? So I don't regret it because it gave me a really cool life when I was younger. What made me decide to do it? It was a total accident. I talk all about it in my book, but yeah, I never was like, oh, I want to do porn. Where do I sign up? It kind of just happened and I have like a whole story time of like how I got into the porn industry and all that. Ugh, this one. Have you ever had porn stars not wash and still do a scene with them? Yes. Oh my God. I think I did a whole story time about this. I did it up for my Patreon though because it was too vile for YouTube. In fact, I'm hoping this like doesn't get a strike or taken off my channel because my channel gets really, what is the word? <laughs> My channel is definitely targeted and I feel like a lot of videos that shouldn't be given a strike and removed, they do. You know, like I did a video about like CBD cream or something and it got a strike and taken down and so I hope that this video doesn't. If for some reason it does, it's gonna end up on Patreon but I feel like a lot of my videos end up on Patreon but I did a whole story time about the grossest scene I've ever done or like one of them I should say and oh, it was gross. Like he literally smelled like he had sex with like five people before me and did not shower. It was just really bad. How did the guys treat you off camera? I'm assuming that you're talking about like the porn guys. All the porn guys, the majority of them were super nice, totally treated us with respect. You know, I never really had very many issues with the male talent and smart of them too because the women, at least when I did porn, were kind of like ran things. Most of the time in straight porn, guys are watching it for the girl's sake. You know, like they want to watch the girl. And so if a girl doesn't like you or if one of the male talent is like mean to you, you can put them on a no list like an no list for your agent and you just tell them like these are the guys i don't want to work with so if for some reason you had any like issues with certain male talent or you don't like someone you weren't attracted to someone or whatever you know you didn't want to work with them you put them on your no list someone said did you enjoy it or fake enjoyment both there were times that it's real and i like it and then there's other times where you totally have to fake it you know like this is super early call time and you're like hungover going to set like i was majority of the time you know you fake it but then there were times where like scenes were super hot and you know it's not fake at all so it just depends do you use protection? So I'm assuming they said like, did we use condoms? For the most part, no, we did not. We all got tested. You know, that was like a requirement. STD tested every month. And then towards the end, it was like every two weeks we got tested. Majority of the time we did not use condoms. Some scenes that I was booked for, we did. But for the most part, no. When did you decide to quit and what made you decide to quit? Um, That's funny because I actually quit a bunch of times. I was in and out of the porn industry a lot. I never just like started and stayed in that whole time. I kind of jumped in and out every time I got into a relationship relationship I would you know leave doing porn and then get back in when I broke up with them and again I talk about all this in my book but at the end when I like quit quit it was because I was getting older and I was kind of over it I was done doing porn like the funness kind of like wore off for me and also I was like I don't want to do grandma porn and so I was like okay yeah this is like time for me to quit and I also wanted to become a mother and have like a family and I wanted to change my life and do something different I wasn't happy with what I was doing anymore and so that's when I knew like I need to do something different but it was really scary because once you do porn it's extremely difficult to get a job outside of doing porn for so many reasons one of them is because not a lot of people are going to want to hire an ex-porn star but not only that you're used to making so much money for doing very little work and then you're told you have to work all day five days a week that is a little bit of a culture shock or like a work shock going from having fun and messing around and working a couple hours you know once or twice a week to working 40 hours hours a week depending on you know what job you do so I was like really nervous I'm like I'm not cut out for like a nine to five I'm just like more of a creative person and I can't do that I tried and I literally got fired from every job almost every job I got fired from I tried the normal thing it didn't work for me anal hurts me how do you make it enjoyable so I also did a whole video about this on patreon but I'll just say here I think one of the biggest tips for doing anal is like you have to be extremely relaxed in order for it to not like be painful and kind of have to be doing it with the right person that kind of understands how to relax you so foreplay 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 like a bunch for a long period of time make them massage you like whatever you need to do to get completely relaxed and like extremely turned on and then start if you want way more info that i'm not allowed to give here go to patreon how does Travis feel about your porn past? I don't think he really feels much about it. I don't think he really cares very much. How does someone become a super popular porn star? Well, I would just guess that for one, they have to really be passionate about what they're doing and love what they do because that's gonna come across on camera and people are gonna like that. It's gonna turn them on and they're gonna wanna watch more of your scenes. Therefore, you will get booked more. So love what you do and do a really good job doing it. Someone said, when do you plan on telling Snow? So I'm assuming they're asking like, when do I plan on telling Snow about my 
past and my past in porn. When she's old enough, a lot of people are like, are you gonna tell her about your past? Like, absolutely. I would never keep stuff like that from my daughter. And you know, I've always been very open about it. So when she's old enough, I plan to tell her. Would you ever do anything porn related again? It depends, not that it would ever happen, but if Playboy was like, will you host a show for us? Or, you know, something like that, I maybe consider it because, you know, that's not any sex related stuff that you do. And I actually hosted Playboy for a while and I really liked it for a show called Totally Busted. So I guess it would just depend, but for the most part, probably like not just because like, it's just not something that makes me happy right now. Um, it's not something that like I would really want to do, you know? How would I feel if Snow did porn? I always get this question all the time. Like, how would you feel if your daughter wanted to do porn? Well, probably how anybody would feel if their, <laughs> their kid wanted to do porn. This is the thing. I think it's different because I did porn. I probably feel a little bit differently about it than most parents would. I also think that I'm going to be, I say this now, but it could change. I want to support my kids in whatever they want to do, whether that be doing porn or becoming a doctor. As long as it's not illegal and it's not hurting anybody, then I will support her no matter what and love her no matter what. I also think if for some reason she did want to do porn, that I would be able to give her a lot of advice of what not to do so that, you know, she had a good experience. And I obviously would be very protective of her. How often were your scenes scheduled? So the first month I got in porn, I was working almost every single day. I was booked for a scene for like a shoot, you know, like a photo shoot or something like that for like a magazine. So someone asked, how does the camera crew behind the scenes like react? Like, do they get turned on? That's a good question. I think that they're used to shooting porn. So like for the most part, I think they're kind of numb to it, but there are times where like, you know, somebody that does like lights or whatever, or the mic guy or whatever would be like, have like a total boner and be like, that scene was so hot. Like you gave me a total boner and I'd be like, awesome. And like high five them, you know? But for the most part, I think that they're just, you know, they're used to it. If you could read your past, would you still go into porn again? Or what would you change? Such a good question. My first reaction is no, I would not change doing porn. Cause obviously it made me the person I am as cliche as that sounds. But there are times sometimes when I'm like going through something hard and dealing with something because of my past that I'm like, fuck, I wish I never did that. A great example is like the whole fetish crab thing where I stepped on like a crawfish, you know, stuff like that. And I never want to give excuses. I was signed to a contract. So I was required to do those videos because I was contractually obligated. And I, again, I talk about this in my book about like the dark side of fetish porn and how I did it. And after I did it, I said, I never want to do this again. There were quite a few videos I made, my fetish videos that I did not feel comfortable doing. And afterwards I did it like I was supposed to, but then afterwards said like, you know, I really don't want to do this again in the future. And they were okay with that. So I was never forced to do something that I didn't want to do, but there were definitely times I was uncomfortable doing certain things. Those are like blasted all over YouTube, you know, people like saying that I'm an awful person because of like some of the stuff that I've done. But hopefully those people know that it's acting and it's not something that I had a script. Like it wasn't something I decided to like just go do in my free time for fun. So yeah. Can you get pregnant from pre-cum? Yes, you can. So be careful. <laughs> my camera shut off because I've been going so long. I don't know if that was recording, so I'm just gonna do it again. Someone said, my anniversary is coming up and I wanna fuck my husband like a porn star. Any tips? Yes, girl. Get wasted and jump on him and ride him, girl. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't think that I can give in detail tips about stuff on YouTube anymore because my channel will get taken down. Like literally, they will give me a strike, remove this video. So I feel like I'm allowed to like talk about this stuff on Patreon, but not on here. It kills me because I don't even know if this video they're gonna allow to keep up, but we'll see. What was the biggest benefit of your porn career besides the money? That's a really good question. Ooh, I was able to meet a lot of very successful people that were really powerful and made a lot of money and I learned a lot from them. Business wise, I feel like I learned quite a bit for not going to business school and by being able to hang out with those type of people a lot. It wasn't necessarily that they were around the porn business, but they hired porn stars, you know, to escort for them. That's what I mean by the porn industry helping me out in that way because I was able to escort for like really wealthy people. So that was like one benefit. I got to like travel all over the world. I got to fly in private jets and helicopters and go to really cool places and vacation. And I got to do a lot of things I wouldn't have been able to do if I didn't do porn. So yeah. What was your favorite or best memory about doing porn? So one of my favorite <laughs> memories was AVN. It's like the 
porn awards, you know, like the Grammys, but for porn. I would get like a bunch of my girlfriends. We would all get like matching outfits and it would just be like one huge party. And that's probably the most fun. So like AVN, getting drunk, like having like a crazy time in Vegas that the majority of it we don't remember because <laughs> we were so fucked up, but like it was fun. That's definitely a memory that, that I like. Okay, I'm gonna do one more because I feel like this video is so super long. Are you still talking to previous porn colleagues today? Oh, there's so many good questions still. I feel like I should do a part two. There are still some people that I talk to, not every day, but you know, I'm still in contact with, but not new like porn people that are doing porn now, you know, like people that I used to do porn with. Okay, last question. Do you enjoy having sex with your husband more than when you were doing porn? Yes, absolutely. I've had sex with a lot of people. My husband by far is like the best sex I've ever had. And it still is. And we've been married and together for years and years and years. And he's still like my favorite person to have sex with. I love him so much. <laughs> one last one. Do you, you and Travis have threesomes or would you? So Travis and I have never had threesomes. I've had threesomes um, and like orgies and stuff in my past relationships, but Travis and I have not. Would we? I would be open to it, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want me to do a part two to this and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that is where I get all your questions from. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this channel. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Shannon Rose. I'm an example of how you can change. They used to tell me that I would be nothing. Now I got a million support in my name. I'm on a different course, riding around and I'm whipping a Porsche. They used to hate on me bad. Now I got them sad. I'm the one that they didn't endorse. Now look who's shining. Now look who winning. Do this for my kid, but I am not kidding.